Yangon coach Jocelyn Gorvenek didn't have quite the dream return he might have been hoping for last week as his side were beaten 2-1 in Reims. Two and a half years after taking charge of his last game here at the Stade de Ruderu against Nice, funnily enough, he was back to face the Mediterranean side again on Saturday as he looked to guide the bottom club in the division to a first home win since April the 21st. Nice, though, have really started motoring under their coach Patrick Vieira in recent weeks. They came into this one on a run of five wins in all competitions. Two minutes in, Mario Balotelli trying his luck from distance. The Italian, who is still chasing his first goal in Ligue 1 Conferama this season, firing that one just wide of the target. But nice made a bright start to the game. And Ansan Maximan getting to the byline here in the 25th minute. Slipping that ball across for Balotelli. And well, the big Italian looking for a penalty. Nothing doing, said the referee. And the replay showing there wasn't a great deal of contact from Christoph Kebra, the Gangon captain. At the other end, a lovely ball in here from Pedro Robocho. Marcus Turam perhaps should have done better there, putting his effort straight at Walter Benitez. Gangon have the joint worst attack in the division with just 10 goals scored in their 14 games so far. Injured centre-forward Nolan Roux should be back in action next weekend against Amiens, though he is expected to miss the midweek trip to Dijon. Into the second half, Felix Aboa, Aboa coming forward for Kanga. Nice little run into the area. And another penalty shout. But again, the referee not pointing to the spot. They are having a look at it. But it wasn't given. A free kick from Balotelli, straight into the hands of Carl Johan Jonsson. That was Nice's first shot on target in the game. The Italian not happy to be taken off at Viviera a couple of minutes later. Well, this was the best chance, really, for the visitors. Olivier Biscagli putting that one over the bar after catching out the gang on defence. And then what about this for a save from Benitez from close range to deny Sheikh Traore in the final minutes of the game. So Gangon's wait for victory goes on. And they remain bottom of the table, two points behind Monaco. Nice's winning streak coming to an end. The final score, one apiece.